Arizona Cardinals are at a whopping plus 15,000 odds to win the Super Bowl. They're at plus 7,500 to win the NFC and plus 2,500 to win the NFC West. Their season win total is a seller five games. The Arizona Cardinals have hit the reset button for the second time in two years. Last year's first round pick was spent on Josh Rosen, who started 13 games and led the Cardinals to their only three victories. That was not good enough, however, and neither was Steve Wilkes. The Cardinals have a new head coach in Cliff Kingsbury and a new starting quarterback in Heisman Trophy winner Kyler Murray. First-year head coach Cliff Kingsbury will have a lot of work to do calling his own plays with a first-year quarterback and an experienced defensive coordinator without much to work with. Expectations are low, so they have some time to figure this all out. But meanwhile, the rest of the NFC West appears to be getting stronger. Kyler Murray is set up for immediate success on offense. Cliff Kingsbury's system worked well in college, and Murray goes from Lincoln Riley's up-tempo, spread-it-around scheme to something that will seem very similar. He's got David Johnson, Larry Fitzgerald, and three really high upside pass catchers from the draft in Isabella, Butler, and Johnson. Additionally, Christian Kirk is familiar with Murray during his own Texas A&M days. All in all, there are a lot of potential weapons here. Murray's mobility should help an offensive line that was putrid last season. Say what you will about Josh Rosen's numbers, but the UCLA product was sacked 45 times. The Cardinals only managed 3.8 yards per play. Overall, the offensive line served up 52 sacks to the defense. Kingsbury's offense will allow the offensive line to hold blocks for a shorter amount of time, and Murray's escapability should be helpful. Still, this is an offense that will have to grow up together. Taking a look at the defense, Vance Joseph is a good hire for this time. He wasn't much of a head coach, but he's a strong defensive coordinator and his expertise will allow Kingsbury to focus solely on the offense. The Patrick Peterson suspension is a real bummer as it will force Byron Murray to take on a huge role early in the season because he'll have to face Matt Stafford, Lamar Jackson, Kim Newton, Russell Wilson, Andy Dalton, and Matt Ryan in their first six weeks. We'll have to see if Joseph's 3-4 works better than Al Holcomb's did. The Cardinals have had some defensive coaches poached in the recent years, and the defense fell apart completely last season, allowing 4.9 yards per carry. A more competent offense should help, because last season Arizona was 32nd in third down conversions. That didn't help a beleaguered defense that only forced a total of 16 turnovers, five of which came in just one game. Taking a look at some notes, as of now, the Cardinals are an underdog in all 16 of their games this season, and they will face spreads of a touchdown or more at least six times. Three home games after the bye week means a lot of time at home late in the season, which should provide a boost late in the year, especially if Kingsbury's schemes have taken hold by then. The schedule just doesn't have any soft patches with the competitive AFC North and NFC South in non-division play. Even the last place games against the Giants and Lions are tricky. We expected this to be a fairly cut and dry season, so take a look at the under. There are a lot of really exciting pieces on offense, but there will most likely be a barrel full of growing pains from Murray to Kingsbury to the rookie wideouts. Fitzgerald is really the only reliable pass catching option right now, and we've never really seen Kingsbury able to implement a running back correctly in any of his offenses. The obvious bet here is to the under, seeing as how the Cardinals would need to pull off five outright upset wins to go over this win total. But this could be a really exciting team to watch as they develop later on in the season.